just Zoe Lee. Zoe Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, I might be mispronouncing it, but I'm so sure that's <laughs> yeah. what Law told me. Um, oh, no. Apologies, obviously, to anyone at home if we are mispronouncing it. We'll make sure we get it corrected by next week. Lane. Larson has a lot of time to get away from here. You can see those bushes now further so away good. from the middle of the lane, so Hang you can just Larson. walk away. He walks back in. Niski shuffles forward. Niski low on mana, but Isma's able to get in. Larson has to flash. Dos. Trying to they get in from flash. the side as well. Flash forward from Isma and Larson walked back into the gank. Gets the speed up, but will fall for first blood. I have questions. Game plan right now, so just keep the pressure on Larson. Doing it well. Niski gets the pull back. Larson locked up, and Niski will take the kill. SK. Ping's coming down, trying to cross map with the blue buff spawning on Marku's top side. SK saying, you know what, we can actually get this. Maybe we can, maybe we can even threaten a dive on top of Zervis. So we can quickly look at that top wave. Fourth and a fifth if they manage to take both of these. And it looks like they should be able to get them. Doss going in with the magical journey. Ignite already down on Shigende. He tries to flash away. Isma on the chase though. Will follow him up. And irrelevant come to collapse, which gives them a window to collapse themselves. But uh, the Bard catching him off guard now. Niski, Niski in a no lot of danger. Flash. Comp has chain of corruption. Zoelise is here as well with the quickness. There's the charm. There's the follow up. And Rogue after 11 minutes. Prioritize getting vision down towards this bottom side. And it makes sense with them. Now looking for the dragon. It's going to be a rift tail for dragon trade. As Rogue will get the objective that sticks around as a permanent buff. And SK will Should get... Provide that safety that Comp needs. But mid now under threat from SK. The Herald likely to come out in response. There's the tower. First tower of the game for Rogue. As you say, Herald will... Who's going to ride him? It's Isma. He's going in. Charges forward. The Tempered Fate hitting onto Larson. He still has the flash, and Shigenda has a flank position here. Remember, Exa Kick has no flash from the Dragon play, and Zoalis will lock him down and save. Some out of control over the map. The towers are pretty even. They would love to unlock this mid tower. As Shigenda now in a lot of danger. Isma has found his way to top lane. Shigenda tries to flash away. World End up hopped as Dos joins the face. Shigenda with a magic damage shield, but it's not going to be enough. The Ignite ticking, and Isma. Securing the kill for SK in the top lane. They're going to push forward. This will be a tier one falling. Their second tower of this game. Really good punish from SK. Forcing SK to face check. They don't really have the best face checking champions. They're trying to use the range from Niski. Oh, good tempo fade. Hits. Quickness for Zoelise is up. Flash away from Comp as the curtains open and swiftly close as four shots come out. Shigenda trading with Irrelevant, who's trying to keep him on the sidelines. Zoelise still has the quickness, has the flash, could work his way around here. As you say, not much vision for SK. So at least has a lot of nooks and crannies to play with. He tries to hide out of vision. Instead, he's just frontlining. Cosmic coming back oh, up Isma. on him. Isma flashing forward, looking for the damage. But there's the quickness, there's the charm. Niski with a good shuffle back means that Larson's in the middle of the enemy team and here with the first to fall. Alongside him, we've seen Niski go down, but Zoelis and Rogue are on the run. Marcoon sniped by Exekick. The binding coming out as well as Zoelis lands a double knocker before it. He will pay with his life. A clean fight from SK in the end. Ends up being four dead on the side of Rogue, and this will unlock the dragon for SK. Niski took a huge amount of damage at the start of that fight, and he decided to sacrifice his life, or trade it, I should say. No wards actually placed by SK, but they cleaned out any vision that may have been placed there by Rogue. Irrelevant gets some time with the bottom lane, and it feels vision like yet for Rogue. Marcoon will step in. 6,000 on the Baron, so at least stepping forward as well. They can't quite find an avenue in here, Rogue, as SK continue to chip away at the Baron. Lower and lower it goes, though at least rooted up with a captive audience, and Doss takes the kill. Tempered Relevance. just wide of Larson, but Irrelevance in the midst of four here. Tries to snip his way through, can't quite do it, but the Baron will be forfeit. Siege onto Rogue's base. Yeah, not really much you can do here as Rogue. You need another item on Comp, perhaps another item on Larson, who's only sitting on two right now. But SK have overloaded this spot side. Four players here, Larson still in the top lane, and Rogue will realize they can't really take this battle. Larson TPs to the tower, just trying to defend it. Isma is pulled back, but with Spear and Titanic, pretty tanky right now. Spear changed slightly. When you hit a spell, you grant uh, stacks, and then you do increased damage for each stack with your spells. But uh, still does give you that non-ultimate ability haste. Doss locked up for a second, pulled back with the Infernal Chains, rooted. Puts a magical journey down and should be able to go through it. Just gets through before Marcoon lands that Sonic Wave. Tower in the bot lane will now fall as Niski chips away at it and SK. It is a tight one, that's for sure. And it is a big gamble. They don't have the fastest Baron take themselves. Available for them. And Zoelis finds the engage. You have to feel Larson now stepping up, feels he's strong. 
Rabadon's complete on him. Three items already on, and we've seen Shockwave's turn a game like this before. Isma dives in. The TP behind is irrelevant joints. Shigenda going in. Zoe Elise trying to get on towards that front line. Niski there as Exekit kills off Markoon. Shigenda on the back line now is irrelevant. Tries to just chip him away. Irrelevant low, but it's SK's day. They start to sweep up the fight. Everyone surviving for them. Shigenda not stunned by that cosmic binding, but SK get two. They get the mid jungle duo. And now they can just back away. Shigenda's gonna try and gain some tempo for his team as Doss flashes and misses the Q. Maybe they can keep him around. Maybe they can keep them low enough because Comp's still alive and his ultimate's up in eight. Now five. I don't think will it be, be enough to for them this. to survive the tower in the mid lane? Falls Comp backing away and it will be Baron over to SK. I mean, well played once again from SK. And Doss doing huge work with this Bard. The whole team working incredibly well together, and Nexakick just being the executioner as he continues to find kills. Temper fate just wide. As SK now pushing with the Baron buff. Two minutes remain on it. Yet to break an inhibitor tower, but with a relevant pushing mid, you have to feel. One will be short to fall. Isma going forward once again onto the Shikenda, damage. the lockdown, but Shikenda just getting clipped away at Markoon kicks away irrelevant. Well, that's a big, well, two big ultimates used just to disengage. The wave's still gonna start crashing in. Unrelenting here from SK. Irrelevant chipping away at that mid lane tower. He's doing more than chipping, Betty. He's melting. That's a whole Ooh, chip Isma. for him as Isma goes in. <laughs> the tower falls. They're looking for more as Niski slides forward. Larson already falling. Markoon short to follow. Zoe Elise now at the edge of the blades of Irrelevant. And he is not long for the rift. Comp will fall and SK. All it took was a Baron for them to work their way into the base and demolish it. SK with their first win of winter. An impressive.